Hi Virgo, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Pardon me for this frequent change of background. So I'm traveling I'm traveling by the way and everyone in Dubai, hey do contact me. I'm in Dubai right now. So <clears throat> Virgo Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter. Let's see month of August 2023. What messages show up for you? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's quickly dive into your reading and see what is this new month bringing for you, Virgo. Reverse the rules if needed. Switch the cases. You know you don't have to pose a reading on your situation. So, Virgo, August 2023. Oh my God. What did I just see? Disruption. And Ace of Cups. Wow, Virgo, a new chapter, a new beginning, love begins. For a lot of you, this is going to be an immensely romantic month. If you're already in a relationship, some disruption in your current status can happen. And it's in a positive sense. So all those singles, a very unexpected new love situation can start. And that is totally disrupting your current lifestyle, your current, uh, you know, your current things like your day-to-day -day routine can de de get disrupted right some disruption is de definitely taking place and for rest of you i'm picking up that if there has been a situation where you were a little stuck or this is very stuck energy at first you know can you see that somebody's stuck in the rocks and then sudden disruption takes place and you're out of it and you're out and you're free and you are in new love situation for a lot of you, this is a new love situation. For rest of you, your current love situation is going to be blossoming this month. We're going to keep it here. Overall, the situation appears really positive and some disruption to your system is going to happen this month. Lovely energy to start with. Virgo. Lovely, lovely energy to start with. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's dive into your reading. We're going to see are you going through right now what is your current situation then what you can expect as you enter the new month where it is heading couple of advices you know outcome couple of advices so let's dive into your reading virgo sun moon rising venus and jupiter i'm totally amazed uh, this love begin path is very beautiful your love life can take a new turn you know your Current love life can get disrupted and take a new turn. And it's a positive sense. So, I, Virgo, where are you coming from? Let's see. Lovers. Knight of Wands. So much fire, my God. Judgment. You're giving a second chance to something. For someone very specific, there is a connection that has been a little troublemaker in your life and past hierophant here look at the cards wow for someone very specific um virgo there was a past person who has been a little non-committal in your life this person is here again and asking for a second chance and for those for whom this has already happened i see this message might be for you very strongly if someone has uh, returned to your life recently or a connection that was dying or a connection that was not working out there has been a sudden disruption for some of you i see a flush of excitement and positivity here a change is taking place in your current love life and i'm very strongly getting love energy for workers you know this is a general message of course this can resonate in any aspect of your life but in this reading specifically i'm getting love strong love situation lovers making a choice for a lot of you look at that major look at major arcanas we have gemini energy scorpio energy hierophant taurus energy i see a decision has been made oh this connection is very strong the passion is very strong i see for a lot of you um you're holding very fiery side in this connection if this is a love situation going on the fire the passion is immense right and for someone very specific, I'm picking up that a judgment is going to be made or you are in that phase right now where a judgment is, is going to be made or it's actually that phase going on. What I mean by that? Universe, 
Oh my god, oh look at that. Some very relieving experience is taking place. I'm going to clarify these cards. But overall it's a very positive energy. Look at the, you know, reds and yellows and greens. They're just popping out so well. Very positive cards. Very positive cards overall. For someone specific I felt you might be traveling also. Look at that. Where are you going? Nine of Cups. I just want this reading to end straight away. Chariot, oh my god. I want this reading to end straight away. I don't want more. Oh my god. Four of Wands. Virgo, you guys are heading towards far more stability in your life. Wow. You made a decision in love recently. For someone very specific, I felt that you made a decision or you're making a decision that totally disrupted your life changed your life in a positive way change your life i would say because how positive it is it's going to be revealed now how positive your decision was or it is it's going to be revealed by the universe now you might have doubts about this connection in past wow nine of cups is showing me something is granted virgo some wish something that you have been waiting for or something that wow the wish is granted i feel the chariot is showing me the the wish is granted and you are heading in the right direction i'm picking up celebration i'm picking up um, spending time together this this month and specifically first 15 days of this month i feel you guys are spending a lot of time with your partner i see you working on your foundation this month is actually the month of love very transformative month things change disruption shows me that your day-to-day -day life might change after this disruption so wow look at that queen of swords in the reverse position however i feel you might experience this so be clear like be clear with that i'm feeling that there will be moments when you might feel that i'm not able to put my point forward or uh, you know say some things which are needed to be said sometimes why we need to clarify there can be a little bit of communication problem i won't say this is problem sometimes when we are in such an environment where we are you know experiencing so much love and fun and passion the wait is over seven of pentacles in the reverse position why are you not able to speak? I'm going to clarify for some reason you're not able to express or speak something in this situation. Very positive cards overall. Do you feel tied in the commitment or you're thinking of getting tied in the commitment? Now, sometimes, you know, commitments are difficult to keep, isn't it? You know, you have to keep shut sometimes when you want to speak. You have to avoid some things when you want to retaliate you have to uh, you know keep patience when you just want to burst out commitments are difficult right but what this commitment is bringing along is so beautiful that you might end up compromising some things you know you might end up compromising few things a little bit in order to save this beauty that you are going to experience very soon right for a lot of you, I do see you might end up into an into a commitment with this person or you are already in a commitment with this person. If that's the case, uh, your life is transforming. Life-changing experience. This connection is transformative. It's changing your life and it's, it's going to change your life. I see it, it's actually fun being together. It's actually, wow. First 15 days of August, I'm picking up very positive energy for you. Two of Swords. Now, for some of you, I just felt that. Yeah, okay, I'll put I'll put something forward here, Virgo. We have Ace of Swords in the reverse position here. I was holding the deck like this. Ace of Swords in the reverse position, though it's beautiful, but change is always uncomfortable. You getting my point? Sometimes. No matter how beautiful this change is, the change is a change and you have to accept it. Um, sometimes we are so used to our comfort zone and sometimes we are so used to our energy, right? The kind of energy we have built around us. 
that whenever the change comes in, it makes you feel uncomfortable. And commitments, I told you, commitments are not easy. Commitments are very difficult, right? And when something like this happens, you have to keep shut sometimes when you want to speak. I see that something I feel is troubling you in this in these 15 days specifically. I feel this is something that's going to trouble you a little bit, Virgo, because you want to speak, you want to express, two of swords, you might feel a little confused whether I should or whether I should not, right? That might be a little bit of a question. We're going to get some cards clarified. Overall, it's a very positive and a beautiful reading, but still we're going to clarify this, right? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, just a second, just a second. Okay, just a second, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's quickly clarify a few cards, Virgo. What is this lover's energy? Ten of Swords. There was a conclusion made and a choice was made to move forward in this connection. Though you felt that someone was non-committal in the past and you kept on ignoring them, but I see there was another chance granted to this connection judgment right magician in the reverse position if somebody was manipulative they stopped doing that and they were ready to manifest the right way magician in the reverse position initially it was not a healthy energy but nine of cups is showing me the moment uh, the judgment call came things started changing between you and this person in nine of cups eight of wands you're hearing something about this person that's making you immensely happy i see a news a good news coming in that's going to change your life nine of cups and you're heading in that direction i see you end up setting boundaries and blocking somebody if there's no need anymore if you don't need this person or the situation anymore you're going to end up blocking something and lovers lovers with the four of wands this is such a lovely energy we're good this is this is your best reading after so long your life specifically in love life you know money we're going to see if some card surrounding money shows up but this is your one of the best readings after so long after so long right why are you queen of swords in the reverse position here virgo temperance in the reverse position you might feel lack of patience to deal with some situations at times right you might feel in the near future that i don't have the required patience i'm done i'm doing too much i need some time to recover i need some time to heal All right so why what is this commitment about let's see what is this commitment about nine of cups in the reverse position again commitments are difficult that was something we were talking about Virgo. commitments are always difficult right Virgo? commitments are always difficult and commitments at times just tie you down isn't it six of swords so what are you going to decide are you ready to tie yourself down are you ready to ignore some things which are hard to ignore are you ready to keep this person or this commitment or this whatever you are having five of wands in the reverse position though i do see you coming out of the conflict two of swords upright five of wands in the reverse position you're ready to come out of the conflict virgo you might feel a little indecisive though but you don't want to be in a conflict not specifically with this person because they are this is a very really beautiful connection i feel and four of pentacles you might end up holding back a little bit specifically if this is about finances i see no matter how much love is there, no matter how much commitment is there, you're not trusting somebody completely with your finances. So that's very interesting. An ace of souls in the reverse position. For someone very specific, I see you don't want to tell somebody the truth about your finances. You can take this as an advice also. Keep your finances close to yourself. Though you might feel like expressing love, but when it comes to financial part, I won't say partition or division, but I do see investment. You're taking your sweet time to invest and if this is this is a life changing uh, you know um, decision for you so be very clear in your thought process when you make this decision advices for virgo let's see advices for virgo virgo ace of wands virgo ace of cups and ace of wands love begins and a lot of excitement comes in right passion comes in let me read this for you an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action 
do what you're passionate about virgo your passion is ignited here your love is coming in so romantic front and something that is like your dream that you want to follow so you you say it love front or you say it in the passion front something you want to follow virgo is ahead of you it is in front of you right i do see you not trusting when it come to fi com comes to finances though but you know it's it's once in a lifetime opportunity that i feel something like oh my god page of wands here a lot of fire a lot of passion enthusiastic optimistic creative and patient news of exciting opportunities allowing your creativity to soar do things that fuel your passion finish what you start so i see you very passionate in jumping into new things specifically when it comes to commitments but when it comes to settling down and taking it to the final stage you might feel a little uncomfortable because you know commitments are difficult and specifically in a love situation other than that in a in a work life situation also you're starting off something passionately you're very clear you want to do this thing in your life or this is your passion you want to follow but at times you might find yourself a little laid back lazy or you know for some reason you might feel that i'm not able to finish what i'm starting so just stuck to what stick to i'm sorry not stuck stick to what you're starting virgo and i wish you all luck for the new month thank you so much guys for watching bye bye